Welcome everybody to my channel, Brian here, and today I will be installing this video game, GTA 4, also known as one of the worst PC ports of all time. At first, I will leave, as always, uh, this page bin at the description of the video. The first page that I want to show you is the Anton Shabunin's blog. It's a very complete blog related to fixes and settings for many games, not only for GTA 4 so it's very recommended if do you want to go for it and know more about the mods and the video game itself next the second one it's an excellent video also in this video you could find more details about the main mod that we will be using today it's called fusion fix it has so many fixes for the video game and is pretty short only three minutes he shows how you can add more mods without the need of replacing the original files so it's excellent and it showcases many of the areas and fixes one by one and with clever examples of each one and the last one it's my favorite web page Obviously, if you are a PC gamer, you know that the majority of the video games need some kind of setting up and it could be a little bit annoying because it goes from very small errors to big bugs and in this case, bugs and performance issues. So, it's worth that you check this webpage, PC Gaming Wiki, it has so much fixes and information for the PC game. Okay, after that, let's jump onto the download part. It's the last link. I uploaded the game in the Google Drive server. You have to download all these parts. In total, there are 22 parts. And once you are done, now you have all the files uploaded, the 22 parts. Select the first one, right click with 7-zip and extract here. Once you have extracted, it will leave this ISO file. It weighs 22 gigs. It's a little bit heavy the ISO, but double click the ISO and select the setup exe. Select your language. Let's wait a couple seconds. Click next and in this part, I already have the game installed, as you can see, in this directory, in the local disk E, and I made two copies of the game. So, this is the original files that comes with the installation, and this is optional. If do you want, you could split the versions. For example, you could leave in this folder the original files, and in this one, the model files, in case you need to make more testing or try another mode, it's okay to do it and you will not have any problem of these saved games now even if do you want to play the original version you will need to make some small settings or, so, or some small changes in the google drive link you will find two fold additional folders one is original and the another one is modded so in the copy part it's my backup or the original files. Open this folder, G Grand Theft Auto 4, complete edition, copy, Grand Theft Auto 4, let's open the original folder, and it's step by step, 1, 2, 3. Also for the model version that we'll be seeing in a moment, you will find the same structure. So select this one, this is the crack for the, in order to launch the game properly. Just copy and paste. It's already here. Yeah, it's fine. The second one, no intro easy fix. Just open the folder. Also, for many mods, you will fit the readme if you want to know more about who made the mod and some further clarifications. Leaving this part, it's fine. And we need to copy this file and go onto the GTA 4 directory common data folders right here common data and paste the file right here no any screens underscore pc dot that replace the file in the destination and related to the tier one command line 
these are small commands that we are setting before the game launches. These are the minimal commands, but also in the description I will leave a web page with many more commands if you want to set in your game a little bit. But these are the minimal ones. You could also make your own file, right click, new, document text, name it command line and put it and add your own commands. Only take in mind you need this hyphen, the command, hit enter and put in this web, like in this case. And you are ready to go. Let's save it. No more changes at the moment and paste right there. I already have installed these modes and made these settings onto my folders, my respective folders, but I am doing again in order to show you how to do it. It's the exact same for the episodes from Liberty City, the DLC in this case. This file is not present in this folder, in the DLC folder. So you just need to use the first and second mods. For this moment, it's enough. We now have finished with the original part. Now let's go back, mods, and and model version. I have this folder destined to be the one that I will be modifying. It's the exact same, and also in the Google Drive link, I will leave these folders with all the files that you need. As you can see, GTA 4 and version 1070. 1070. The same one, copy, paste, model exe, the fusion fix, very important, copy all the files, paste it onto the folder. Now let's talk a little bit about the third one, the XBK software, especially again, needs a method of communication with the graphics card. In this case, the original game that it was launched in 2008 used DirectX 9, but with newer hardware that could lead to bad performance and soft stuttering. This is the main mode that could improve performance. But how do you know if your graphics card is compatible? Most of the recent graphics card supports Vulkan with the needed version 1.3 or higher. But if you have a graphics card that supports 1.2 or lower, you need to use an older version also of the XBK. You can check it in this web page, also in the description. It's like a database of graphics card. I search for the one that is mine, in my case, the RX 6600. As you can see, it's compatible, all of this version, this is the mobile version, the XT, but in my case it's the normal version, 1.4, so we are fine. The XBK, and it's time for the last one related to the mobile version, also the command line, as I said earlier the basic commands in order to modify the graphics settings excellent so we are done as i said related to the dlc i will leave another folder like this with the needed files you just need to open that folders one by one and copy and drag all the files onto the installation folder of your dlc's or your gta 4 episodes from liberty city as you can see the original four folders and the DLCs three folders only. So it's great. But if you have problems installing, you can reach to me right down in the comments, and I will be glad to help. Even here on YouTube or in Discord, you can DM me. I'll not have any problem to help you. Very important. I want to make a disclaimer. As you know, you are downloaded a crack game. You are not paying for it. So you have to take your own precautions, like installing the game without any internet connection, if you want in a virtual machine, or even with another user. This is because the files, the original crack files and the mods modifies heavily the original files. So maybe that could appear as a virus. It could be detected by the antivirus. So it's very important you always have that in mind. With 
everything said i'm going to search for the security windows security options i'm running windows 11 maybe in your case is different in this case let's open the section virus and threat protection and virus and threat protection settings manage settings let's go to the bottom and let's add an exclusion as i said there are too many files the original and the mod files so to avoid maybe that your antivirus will delete these files you need to make this before let's add another exclusion pc i have installed it right here e games save the 4k it's done now the other one and the modded version and we are finished making the shortcuts so these two ones are related to the modded version now let's go for the copy run the about to 4 first one and search for this file launch gta4 shift plus right click send to desktop now let's search the dlc file right here eflc and this is the right one launch eflc c with the minus c let's make the same send to desktop gta4 original original model and model and then change this icon this original with this one it's fine excellent you made it to the end of the video and it's time for testing in this video in order to not make it very long i will be only testing the base game not the dlcs but the performance is pretty similar This is the original one. This is important because you could see how to game work originally and why most people think that this is one of the worst PC ports ever made. You could take a picture, a screenshot, and these are the recommended graphic settings. Everything in very high, view distance, detail distance. Uh, no more than 31 and vehicle density i think that 50 it's fine definition on and vsync disabled subtitles and gps speech let's go and see how the performance is related to the mod version this one are more related to fix the performance of the game for me that's enough but with these files you could have the base to install many graphical mods so many things let's launch the game as you remember we install two main mods fusion fix adds some options that you could select in this case shadow filter sound shots anti-aliasing and this one is the fps limiter because it recommended that you set it as 60 fps fusion fix also manage some of the problems of running the game at very high fps but always you could make this to make sure that you are playing properly but as you can see in the upper left part of the upper left corner the frame pacing is in is in the best so you have msi after pouring is also recommended software with riva tuner static server they limit the fps but at a driver level it's much better 
let's see how it compares okay, 85 and push tab I mean, right here you could hit the control button and left click and it's going to recognize which applications are running right now gta 4exe vulcan frame rate limit right 60 hit enter and minimize it now let's go back to the game and as you can see the graphic is almost perfect you finally made it the game runs properly amazing and the sky is the limit you could install as many mods as you want I mean some crazy stuff but that's enough for this video and we will see us on the next one peace